Let's do part two of solving inequalities. Um, before we talked about um, inequalities, one-step inequalities using addition and subtraction. So now we're going to talk a little bit more about multiplication and division. Okay. So again, same idea is you solve it just like you would normally solve any sort of um, equation. You'd pretend if this said, you know, we're going to pretend that this says 2x equals 8, right? So what we're saying is we have two groups of, of something is equal to 8. So what we can do is we can say this is equal to 8 divided by 2, right? Because we're going to do the opposite. Instead of multiplying by 2, we're going to divide by 2. Um, again, think of it as I start with x, some number, and I get to 8 by multiplying by 2. Well, what does that have to be? I can take 8 and divide it by 2, and I know that x is going to be equal to 4, okay? Well, in this case, it's not a it's not um, uh, an equation, it's an inequality. So on this side, what I'm saying is the left side here is bigger than the right side, okay? So 2 times some number is going to be a bit more than 8. So we'll just solve it the same way we did before, okay, like we just said, x, and I'm just going to keep the inequality here. So x is equal to 8 divided by 2. I'm sorry, not x. x is greater than 8 divided by 2, and so that means that x must be greater than 4, okay? So I know that all numbers more than 4, right? So more than 4, okay? Higher than 4. Any number higher than 4 will work here. So let's try it. We'll do 3, 4, 5, okay? And I'm going to do an open circle, and I'll shade it to the right. And I'll pick some big number. But we'll just pick 5, actually. We'll take 5, and we'll do 2 times 5 is 10. Is 10 greater than 8? Yes, it is. Let's try 3. 3 times 2 is 6. Is 6 greater than 8? No, it's not. Okay, this looks like it works. All right, let's try another one. You go ahead. You try this one. Pause the video. Try this one yourself. All right, so hopefully you looked at this and you said, okay, I have a division problem, right? I have some number, and I'm putting it into groups of 3, and once I do that, I'm going to end up at 9, okay? And then this side has to be lower than that 9. Okay, so what numbers can we put in there? So what I'm going to do is do the opposite, okay? Instead of dividing by 3, I'm going to say 9 times 3, okay? Remember, I'm taking some number and I'm dividing it into groups of 3. So that's really like saying I have 9 groups of 3, okay? So I'm going to say that x needs to be less than 27. Because if I plug in 27 here, 27 divided by 3 20 is 9. And is 9 less than 9? No, it's equal to, not quite less than. So let's plug in our numbers here. We have 8, 9, 10. And I'm saying, whoops, that's not what I want. Right? I <clears throat> made the mistake of using this number, and it's not that. It's 27 that I need, right? So 26, 27, 28. Okay, and I'm saying anything less than that. So here and lower. And so let's pick a number. Now, Let's be smart about it. If I'm going to pick a number lower than 27, let's pick something we can divide by 3, right? So if I say like 24, okay, that's lower than it. So let's plug that in. So 24 divided by 3 is 8. Is 8 lower than 9? Yes, it is. And then let's pick one bigger. So let's see, 28 doesn't, 29 doesn't work, but we could use 30, right? So we we'll use 30. Plug in 30. 30 divided by 3 is 30 divided by 3. That is 10. Is 10 less than 9? No. And that's that's work, right? Because this is not shaded in. It's These are not supposed to work. Okay? So the, there we go. And this is going to be, right, <clears throat> um, anything, anything lower than 27, right? Anything lower than 27 makes this work. All numbers less than 27, right? Uh, less than 27, all that works. All right. Let's try another one. Now, if you notice, now we have a negative in there, okay? So this is where, this is the thing where it's going to get a little bit funky on us. So what we're going to do here is, okay, we do the same thing as we did before, right? Negative 2 times x, right? So when I do this, I'm saying negative 2 times the number is greater than 16, okay? Now, these are inequalities, right? So we're saying one side is bigger than the other. So we have to be careful about when we have this negative in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, x is greater than 16 divided by, and, right? and so instead of multiplying by negative 2, we're going to divide by negative 2. Okay, now, here's the thing. Right now, this term is a negative term, okay? So what happens is if I divide it by a negative, it actually changes this, okay? So what I'm going to have to do is, because I divide by a negative, right, the thing that I'm doing is I'm multiplying by a negative, so when I divide by a negative, 
I have to reverse this. Well, let's go through, let's just check it to see what happens if I don't reverse it, okay? Let's say if I just say, okay, x is b going to be greater than 16 divided by negative 2 is negative 8, okay? So x is greater than negative 8. So any number bigger than negative 8. So let's try this. Put negative 8 in here, a number lower than that is negative 9, and then I have negative 7. Okay, so right now what we have is any number bigger than that. All right, so let's try it. Let's take negative 7. Okay, if I do negative 2 times negative 7, will that be greater than 16? Well, negative 2 times negative 7 is 14. That is not bigger than 16. Okay? Now let's try the other side. Well, what happens if I pick negative 9? So we'll do negative 9, sorry, negative 2 times negative 9 is that can be greater than 16. Well, negative 2 times negative 9 is 18, and that's definitely bigger than 16. So this one works, okay? So this is why it's a little bit, little bit crazy. When you do this, right, because you're dividing by a negative, you're really changing, right? This was positive, and I make it into negative, right? It becomes the opposite. So if that becomes the opposite, then what I have to do is I have to reverse this symbol, okay? It's got to go that way. Okay, so anytime you, whoa, that's what I want to do. Anytime you multiply or divide by a negative number, okay, right, when the opposite thing is a negative number, you're going to switch the sign. Another way you can think of this is you, if you have a negative amount of x's, you're going to end up having to flip this around, okay? If x, at some, if x is negative, you're going to have to flip it around, all right? Um, and don't worry, we'll have lots more practice for this. Um, okay, and so then what we need to do here is we got to switch around. Oops, that's not going to work. We got to switch around our. Um, that's not going to work either. Let's just erase it. <coughs> our graphing symbol here, right? So x is less than negative eight, so it's going to have to be here, right? And we tried negative nine, and it worked. Okay, so again, it's just. You really just need to check your solutions. Pick a number on either side. Make sure that they both work. Um, all right, so here's another one. We've got negative x over 5 is greater than negative 10. There's all kinds of negatives in this, right? So we've got to think. We're starting at x. We're ending at negative 10. What are we doing? Okay, when you see this, right, when you see a negative here, what we're going to do is we're going to put this negative with the 5. So I'm going to rewrite it like this. x divided by negative 5 is greater than or equal to negative 10, okay? Now, the reason I did this is because that way, the op we do the opposite here, right? x divided by negative 5, so then I'm going to do the opposite, okay? I'm going to take negative 10, and instead of dividing by 5 over here, I'm going to switch it. I'm going to multiply by negative 5, okay? Now, because I just did the opposite, right? I made this a negative, okay? This is a negative, and I'm going to multiply by a negative, right? It's going to become positive. Because this thing was dividing by negative, okay? Which means then I'm going to div multiply by a negative 5. I need to flip my symbol around. So that's going to let me have x is less than or equal to positive 50. Okay, negative times negative is 50. So let's go ahead and put this in here, 50. And I'm going to put my number line go by 5. So this is going to be 55, and this is going to be 45. And the reason why I'm going to go by 5 is since I'm dividing by 5 up here, this will allow me to check my answer a little bit easier, okay? So greater than, less than or equal to, close circle, and I'm going to shade to the left, okay? And now let's go ahead and pick some numbers here. Let's try 45, and let's plug it in here. So we're going to get... Um, let's do this in green. So I'm going to get negative, and I got x is 45 divided by 5, and we'll see if that's greater than or equal to negative 10. Okay, well, 45 divided by 5 is 9, and this negative is in front of it, so it's negative 9 is greater than or equal to negative 10. Remember, nine. this is 9 below 0. This is 10 below 0. This actually is higher. Okay, you can think of as uh, owing $9. Is that better than owing $10? Yes, right? Or negative, you could look at it this way. Is owing $10 is worse than owing $9. Um, negative 10 is lower than negative 9. It might be easier to look at that way. But either way, this is true. Okay, so let's try with 55. So if I take... 55, right? Negative 55 divided by 5. And we say, is that greater than or equal to negative 10? And it's not supposed to work, right? It's not shaded over here, so it's not supposed to work. 55 divided by 5 is 11. So I get negative 11 
is greater than or equal to negative 10. No, that's not true, right? Negative 10 is not less than negative 11, right? Negative 11 is not greater than negative 10, so this is not true. Then my solution looks like it works. All right, let's do one more here. Why don't you go ahead, you try this one and see how it works out for you. Go ahead, pause the video and try this one. All right, so as I do this one, I've got x divided by 4 is greater than or equal to negative 8. So what am I doing? I'm starting with x. I'm ending at negative 8. What's happening? I'm dividing by 4. So I'm going to do the opposite, negative 8 times 4. Okay. Now, because this is a negative 8 here, you might have thought, hmm, I'm going to have to switch the symbol around. But remember, it's what's happening here. It's right here. See how this is a positive x, right, and a positive 4? and I'm multiplying by a positive 4, that's the part that matters. That's the part that's going to switch this around. So because this was a negative, it's not changing, right? And another thing, see how this is a negative 8? When you end up here, it's a negative, and when you multiply by the positive 4, you end up with negative 32. So the sign didn't change, so this isn't going to change. So right now we're just going to talk about any number greater than or equal to negative 32, right? So this is like, you could say, at least negative 32, okay? Negative for any number greater than or equal to negative 32. A minimum of negative 32. All of those work. Okay, so we'll put in negative 32, and I'm going to go by fours, okay? So negative 32, negative 28, this would be negative 36, and then I'm going to go ahead and we'll check our answer, okay? So this is greater than negative 32, so I have solid circle, shade to the right, so let's try negative 28. So if I do negative 28 divided by 4, is that greater than or equal to negative 8? Well, negative 28 divided by 4 is negative 7. Is that higher than negative 8? Yes, it is. Negative 8 is lower than negative 7. So it works. Let's try negative 36. If I put negative 36 in up here, divided by 4, is that greater than or equal to negative 8? Well, negative 36 divided by 4 is negative 9. Is that greater than or equal to negative 8? No, it is not. Negative 9 is lower than negative 8. So it looks like our solution works. Okay. Don't worry. We'll have a lot more practice. I'll make sure that um, if you have any questions, we can get through them. All right.